UK party people. Just trying not to wreck everything. This is DK with Mr. V Amps, and I just got back from uh, an auction hall, which we do from time to time. Okay, and we have records, lots and lots and lots of records, because of course we have a jukebox, and now we need to fill it, and so allegedly there's close to 600 of them here. I thought sorting through them would be fun, and uh, maybe if anybody wants to buy a few of them, you know, support the channel, that'd be cool. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So the first box is marked uh, 60s and 70s soul and R&B and stuff. So this is going to be the stuff I'm not too familiar with, but I'm going to go through them anyway. And like I say, we're going to sort out the few we want for our jukebox. Uh, the jukebox takes a total of 50. I probably need about 30 to finish it off. Oh, there you go. Cool in the gang celebration. Everybody knows that one. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Yeah, we know that one. I don't know that song, though. Is that a B-side? Land Landlord. I don't know that song. I know the artist. Let's see. Ben E. King. It's all over. Yeah, we know who Ben E. King is. And Let the Water Run Down. I think I've heard that one. I'm not a thousand percent sure. Let's see. First Taste of Love. Another Ben E. King. And Spanish Harlem. Yeah, we know what that one is. That's cool. These are not rubbish records here this is this is like some stuff that will sell if i choose to sell it and of course my microphone cable's caught underneath my camera stand lucky me ah oh, the joys of doing a live stream oh well okay so psychedelic shack i don't know i know the temptations i don't know that song the way love is. I don't know that song for sure. I will say I know the artist. I don't know the song. Put these like the right direction up so I can put them back in the box. Oh my goodness, we're gonna make a big mess, aren't we? Another Gladys Knight in the Pips. That's probably. I can probably sort these by artists, maybe, and sell, you know, let's see, Quincy Jones. That one I don't know. I'm more cool in the gang. There we go. We know who that is. I don't know those two songs, though. We know Celebration. I think everybody and their brother knows that one. Al Green. I think I Al Green was the only record they left in my jukebox. Hang on. More Al Green. You can put all those together, I suppose. School days is what this one is. I'm sorry, you can't read all of them. Let's see. Let's get married, Al Green. So good to be here. Okay. Dion Warwick. There we go. There's some nice Psychic Friends Network for you. Deja Vu and it's Never Love This Way Again. Okay. Barry White. There we go. What's this? More than anything and something. First, the last, my everything. Barry White. Okay. Oh, B.B. King. The thrill is gone. Yeah, I know that. Your mean is the B side. Okay. Marvin Gaye heard it through the grapevine. Yeah, we know that one. And U is the B-side. Don't know that one. What's this one say? Oh, there's no, there's just two stuck together. Let's see. Cleo's Mood. Who's the artist? J.R. Walker, All-Stars. And Brainwasher. Okay. 
Bustin' Loose, Chuck Brown and the Soul Searchers, parts one and two. That was a thing. I think Ray Charles started that where you could put you put the first half of the song with like what'd you say or or what I'd say. That's what it was. Let's see. Function at the junction, shorty long. And call on me. What's interesting is when I see this wear pattern, I think they might have been in a jukebox before. Let's see, Booker T and the MGs, hang them high and over easy. Booker T and the MGs, I'm familiar with a lot of their instrumentals. Obviously, Green Onions is one everybody remembers. Some of these are like reprints. I can use you know, Motown yesteryear. That would be a reprint, but that's fine. You beat me to the punch, Mary Wells. Mary Wells, I think, of my guy, but let's see what else is the one. Two. Two Lovers, yeah, I know that one. That's probably the A-side. I Want Love by the Paradons and Diamonds and Pearls. Okay. I can't go on without you, Hank Marr, and the Greasy Spoon by Hank Marr. Mm, don't know that one. Doesn't mean these are bad records or anything, or it's just maybe I. This is not my genre anyway. Why didn't? Why did she have to leave me? The Temptations. That's not the one I thought it would be. What's this one? Something Cloud Nine. My Cloud Nine? Why? Oh, smudge, I can't read it. McCloud Nine. So M apostrophe, like Milady, McCloud Nine. And again, I don't know those songs. Curtis Mayfield, Sweet Exorcist. And Suffer. Curtis Mayfield, the name rings a bell, the songs don't. Um, running Back and Forth by the Emotions. And want to come back, okay? Give me one more chance, Johnny and the Expressions. And boys and girls together. I think I I think that song rings rings something. Okay, Booker T and the MGs again. Terrible thing. And can't be still again. Two songs I don't totally know. Hmm. Ain't nobody's business. And who's the artist on this one? Johnny Witherspoon? Okay. And that's another part one and part two. That must have been a big, long song. Okay. Dancing in a Dream World, Clarence Ash. Trouble I've had. This one's hard to read the label. Ruby Andrews, Can You Get Away? And Everybody Saw You. Okay. See, this is Don Covey and the Good Timers. Mercy, Mercy. I think I know that song. You Can't Stay Away. I think I know those songs. I would play these for you in real time, but uh, then this video wouldn't exist. Thanks, YouTube. We love you. Let's see. Listen to me by the Esquires. And get on up. Is that that might be the I might know that song. Is that the one with the with the bass line? Get on up. I don't know, maybe. Could be. Let's see. You've made me so very happy by Brenda Holloway. I think I know that one. I've gotta find it. Yeah, this is the Ron Ads, Phil Spector record. Best part of breaking up, backed with Baby I Love You. Okay. 
More Ronettes, Be My Baby. Yeah, everybody and their brother knows that song. That's cool. That's a 63 record, so that's actually like period correct for this jukebox. Back with... Oh, this is this is a jukebox record, I think, because the artist on the... No, the song's called Tedesco and Pittman. Uh, it must be a, Names of Streets or something. Don't know that one. Oh, here we go. Love Child by Diana Ross and the Supremes. Also uh, known as Jesse Jackson's theme song. All right, um, let's see. Will This Be the Day? Okay, so that's an original Motown. I don't think that's a reprint. Commodore's Sweet Love, and the B-side is Better Never Than Forever. You Sexy Thing by Hot Chocolate. I believe I know that song. And the Amazing Skin song. Okay, that's a weird title. Okay, Funky Broadway by Dyke and the Blazers. I think I know that one, too. The Easiest Way to Fall by Freda Payne. And Band of Gold is the B. Rose Royce with Car Wash. I think I... Okay. Water? Oh, wait. Water from Car Wash? Is this... Yeah, Car Wash and then Water from Car Wash. So these probably came off of like some kind of musical production. Oh, Tears of a Clown, Smokey Robinson. Yeah, we know that one. Backed with Promise Me. We have a radio personality around here who's a huge Motown fan. If I just put this in a stack and played it, he'd probably be happy. Let's see, Hustle Bus Stop. I master Hustle Bus Stop. I mastermind. Again, same side A and B. Is that radio record, maybe? So if you wear one side out, you still got the other one? Funky Robot by Rufus Thomas. Uh, part one and part two again. That must be like one of those dance records. And I'm sure some of y'all are probably like laughing, going, this dude doesn't know nothing about this genre of music, which is probably partially true. Let's see, Roscoe Robinson, one more time. And that's enough. Okay. <clears throat> Deep and Quiet Love and Edry, Eddie Hendrix and Happy with Eddie Hendrix. Okay. A lot of these have original sleeves. Some of them don't. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Love is a heart. Or love is a heat wave, I believe. Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. We know who that artist is. Come and get these memories. I believe this is the A side. I just I I know there's a song Heat Wave, but is that uh, I don't know, maybe that I'm your puppet, James and Bobby Purify. Yeah, I think I know that one. And Shake a Tail Feather. Okay. Wilson Pickett in the Midnight Hour. Yeah, we know that song. I think everybody and their brother knows that. That's kind of like default Motown. Six, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So both of those sides, A and B, are songs that we know. Shake Your Groove Thing. Okay. Peaches and Herb. All right. And what's this side? All Your Love. Give it here. Okay. World Spin, A Taste of Honey. I know a couple songs by that title. And Boogie Oogie Oogie, again, Taste of Honey being the artist, I suppose. Okay. Someday We'll Be Together, Diana Ross and the Supremes, we know that one. And Here's My Sunny Boys, the B-side. Okay. Oh, this one's got a rough-looking label. Hope we can read that. day without you. That's another Diana Ross record, I can tell you that much. And Touch Me in the Morning is the 
on that side. This one, I, I'm going to guess this might be the A side, and this was like down, or that was stored and just has a lot of rubs. That's hard to read that label. Save the Children, Diana Ross. And last time I saw him, okay. Earth, Wind, and Fire, that's the way of the world. And Africano. And these are pretty significant records. This isn't just a box of, like, I'm sorry, but not to be insulting, but this isn't a box of Lawrence Welk records that you find at a thrift store. What's this feeling? Al Green. And you ought to be with me with Al Green. Get back, baby. Al Green. Back to with. Tired of being alone. Al Green. Okay. Let's stay together. Back to with tomorrow's dream. Let's see, lean on me, Bill Withers. I don't remember Bill Withers being the lean on me artist, but maybe he did a, did a recording too. A lot of people did a lot of those. And then better off dead. Okay, stories, Bill Withers. And you by Bill Withers. Taste of honey, do it good. And I love you. Valentine's Day song, I guess. Let's see. Last dance. Donna Summer. Disco record. There you go. That's what you need. You need some disco in your life. Back with with your love. Okay. The fifth dimension with the singer. From Ashes to Ashes. The fifth dimension. That name resonates, but neither of those songs do. Mr. DJ. Aretha Franklin. As long as you are there, Aretha Franklin. I'm a winner, Diana Ross. Surrender, Diana Ross. Soulful Strut by Young Holt Unlimited. And Country Slicker Joe. Okay. Billy Preston, we're going to make it. Back with Space Race. Okay. The Fifth Dimension, A Love Like Ours. And Puppet Man. I always found it annoying when people wrote their names on the labels, but I'm sure that was probably, you know, nobody cared. These were cheap and you know, whatever. Too High, Stevie Wonder. Okay. And Higher Ground. That this one right there, that would that one that that's and this is in really good condition. I wonder if this is like a reprint. It's like a thick, heavy one. It should clean up nice. That's kind of cool. Everybody can hear that keyboard riff, right? Dancing machine, the Jackson Five, and it's too late to change the time. Shanson, did you ever? And don't hold back. Love's theme. The Love Unlimited Orchestra, whatever that means. And sweet moments, okay. And what do we have here? We have Supernatural Thing, Part 1 and 2 by Benny King. So, again, we're finding artists that people, you know, know, are familiar with. Haven't found anything that I'm immediately, you know, rolling my eyes at, because even if this isn't my style, there's a chance to be able to support the channel and send these to somebody who really, really likes them. And, uh, you know, clean them up and play them. That's how we do things, right? What a difference a day makes, Esther Phillips. Turn around, look at me. Baby by Eddie Kendricks. Intimate Friends. Okay. Never gonna leave you, Eddie Kendricks. Get it while it's hot. Earth, Wind, and Fire again. Yearnin' Learnin'. And Shining Star. 
emotions, best of my love, and my feeling is. September by Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Love's Holiday. Let's Groove, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Sing a Song. Night War by Edwin Starr. That's interesting. When somebody wrote, I can see clearly something. And the row, the he who picks a rose, Edwin Starr. That one, no. oh, good grief. This is funny. Listen to me and show and tell. This is actually the exact same record that came in the jukebox, but the one that was in there was all moldy and nasty. But hey, there you go. Okay, this is a repop. As soon as you see these collectible series, you know these are repops. So this is probably in good condition. Four tops, I can't help myself, and ask the lonely. Okay. Supernatural thing, Benny King, part one and two. Imagination, Benny King, part and do it in the name of love. Let's see. I'm through trying to prove my love to you, Bobby Womack. And nobody wants you when you're down and out, okay? I need to live the love. Let's see, what is this? I can't, the hardest is hard to read. That is smudge. Oh, B.B. King. Okay, good. And love by B.B. King. It seems like if you throw love in the title, that's automatically a given for vintage records, huh? I'm going to assume that under the sticker it says Mr., but Mr. and Mrs. Jones, Billy Paul, and your song by Billy Paul. Okay, that's my song. What did I know? All right, Summertime Part 1 and 2, Bill Hemmons, and what's the other? Clay's Composite. Okay. It may be winter outside, but in my heart, it's still spring. Love Unlimited. We had Love Unlimited before. For some reason, those the way that the labels are and stuff, I think that's a disco record. That's just a guess. I don't know. I almost wish I had some really cheapo mono turntable here that I could just, you know, drop a drop a needle on. But the two I've got are, I've got one that's really super hi-fi, and then we've got the jukebox. And I don't want to tear up a needle on an uncleaned record. Treat her like a lady. That's uh, Cornelius Brothers and Sister Rose. And over at my place. All right, so we're three quarters of the way through the first box. And I think we found some records that are of some kind of value. I don't think they're, you know, going to break the bank or make a ton of money. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, that's nice. Somebody's writing me a troll comment. Thanks. Let's see. Whisper by Marv Johnson. And Come to Me by Marv Johnson. Dion Warwick. I'm only human. And that this was the last song. Um, a little understanding, the Dells, and same song both sides, or is this a part one, part two? That might again be a jukebox or a radio record. Something Boucha by Lattimore on both sides again. Hmm, same song both sides, radio record maybe. Sweet Moments, Love Unlimited Orchestra, and Love's Theme. I swear, I saw that one earlier, so maybe we have two copies of that one. 
Okay, going out of my head, Little Anthony and the Imperials, we know that one. And make it easy on yourself. So we know that record. That one's good. This is a repop, obviously. And this is uh, Take Me Back and Hurt So Bad, another Little Anthony and the Imperials. And there's actually two copies of this one. So When You Wish Upon a Star, another Little Anthony, and I'm Still in Love with You. Shimmy Shimmy Coco Bop. That song actually, we I saw him live when I was a young kid, and this was one song that he thought was really stupid and suggested everybody take their bathroom break. But, you know, sometimes stupid songs are popular songs. Go figure. Back with I'm All Right. Tears on My Pillow. We know about that. And A Prayer and a Jukebox. Another little Anthony and never again. Boy, that's kind of funny. They made the record sleeve all look shredded. All day now, Lois Lee. One night stand, Lois Lee. Somebody's baby by who is that? Robert Knight. An everlasting love. I think that's the A side. I think that's again the song titles generating something playing in my head. Um, Earth a kit, easy does it, and mink schmink. Okay. All right. Under the bridges of Paris, another Earth a kit. Santa Baby. Uh huh. Oh, this is funny. Is this what I think it is? Or is this not what I think it is? I gotta see the art the artist. Nope. This is Witch Doctor by Instant Funk. That's A and B side, so maybe a radio record, maybe a part one and part two kind of thing. Keep me hanging on, Wilson Pickett. And that's, again, another A and B side. So, okay. Funkin' Town by Slave. And Snapshot. You Can't Fight Love by Family Affair. Again, A and B side. Not for resale. This was a radio record for sure. When you see these not for, not for sale or not for resale. Well, uh, they might very well be for sale because I can sell them if I want to. Make me surrender, baby, please. Maybe that. Who is this one? Linda Jones. What have I done to make you mad? All strung out on you, persuaders. Again, another A and B side. Okay, this side's mono and that side is stereo. Okay, that's definitely a radio record because AM would probably be mono and FM would be stereo, maybe. All right. Hari Krishna, Ruth Copeland. We have no commitment. Love You, Oh Darling, Jay McNeely and Sonny Warner sang it. Oh, what a fool. Okay. This one, boy, that this one's probably seen a lot of time on a changer. Kool-Aid, Paul Humphrey and his Kool-Aid chemists. <laughs> what in the world? And Detroit. This is one of those that you just want to put it on and listen to it just because of that strange artist name. So that's a, that's a, anybody who's an up and coming musician, you know, by all means, uh, consider naming yourself, your band, something kind of ridiculous. Let's see, Roberta Flack and Donnie Hathaway, Where is the Love and Mood. Okay. Well, that's one box. That's the, all right, let's see. They labeled that one. 
1960s and 1970s R&B, Northern Soul, and Blues. As far as blues go, I obviously... Um, B.B. King strikes me as a blues artist for sure. Some of the other ones, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would, well, yeah, where I'd put Motown. I mean, Motown, you just like put under Motown, but that's okay. So that's probably my least familiar genre out of what we got here. And I didn't do too bad. I didn't feel like a complete and total bonehead there were records i recognized in there and i think that most of these were probably in somebody's record shop maybe that closed or somebody's resale shop hard to say oh yes Okay, this next box is even fuller, and it says 60s and 70s rock. I think we'll recognize some things here. All right, so here's the first stack we have. Now, this is a promo record, not for resale. It's Hypnotized by Kingfish. And that's a both on both the A and B side. Let's see, we have a mono side and a stereo side. Okay, so another radio record. Bob Dylan, Spanish is the Loving Tongue. I wouldn't have thought Bob Dylan would be in the rock section, but okay. And Watching the River Flow. Teen Angel by Donovan. Oh, yeah, we know Donovan. And Hurdy Gurdy Man. That's that's significant. You know, that's not a nothing record there. Not a huge Donovan fan, although I did like the intergalactic laxative just because it was obnoxious. So you don't pull your love. Hamilton, Joe Frank, and Reynolds. And what's on the B side? Because we can't tell because it's got promo stuff. Bunkin Wagnall. Okay. I don't know that one, but the flip side's got some fun artwork there. Simon and Kerfunkel, Old Friends Bookends, and Mrs. Robinson. That's fun. I think everybody knows that song. I actually, it's kind of funny because it's got some dark subject matter, but yet it's got such a nice cheery song to it. Oh, 1910 Fruit Gum Company, Sticky Sticky. I don't know that song, but I, the one I would love to get would be Indian Giver, because the B-side of that was a record that was played backwards, and the song was actually about Howdy Doody. <laughs> I demented, I know. Thank you, Dr. Demento. And then this is one, two, three, red light. Okay. Paul Revere and the Raiders, BFDRF Blues, okay, and Just Like Me. I know the artist. That song doesn't, the knack, pick it up. We know who the knack is, is the B-side, that's pick it up on both sides. We have long version and short version, so that's a radio record. As soon as I saw the knack, I'm going, we're going to find my Sharona. Yeah, nope. Let's see, Midnight Lady, Rare Earth. Walking shtick, rare earth, okay. Mm, Billy Wary, taking my time. Again, another A and B promo copy. Stereo on one side, on actually the stereo on both sides. This might be a same double print. Hmm. Interesting. DJ copy. Yeah, that is a radio record specifically. Blaze by Jamie and Knock on Wood. Or Jamie Blaze is the artist. Okay, Jamie and Knock on Wood. 
Okay. Holly Bright, Britannia. Boy, these are all, these are, let's see, one side's mono and one side stereo, so that's another radio record. Find the Cost of Freedom, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, we know who they are. And Ohio, is, and when I see Ohio, is that that Kent, is that the Kent State song? Might be. School's Out, Alice Cooper, yeah, we know that one, and 18, so I know both of these songs. Alice Cooper I'm familiar with. I like that there's a Radio Shack sleeve put on this afterwards. And somebody wrote their name in big print there, Tamara's record. Under Assistant West Coast Promotion Man, Rolling Stones. And I Can't Get No Satisfaction. There's one. We know that song. All right. Lady Jane, Rolling Stones, and Mother's Little Helper. Yeah, we know that one. That's the A-side. So, cool. Oh, we're getting into, like, rock and roll records that I think everybody and their brother knows. Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin. And Four Sticks. That's the B-side. I don't know that one. Got a Feeling by the Mamas and Papas. And Monday Monday. Yeah, everybody I think knows Monday Monday. This is we're getting into some territory of stuff that like kind of belongs in this jukebox, I would say. Let's see. I saw her again. And even if I could, I don't think those are doing it for me. Dancing in the Streets, Mamas and Papas, and Words of Love. Words of Love is the one that I believe was the A-side. Friends by Elton John, and Honey Roll. Another Elton John record. Harmony. And Benny and the Jets. There you go. There's something that everybody has heard probably more times than they care to hear. Elton John, Rocket Man, and Susie. Elton John, Part-Time Love, and I Cry at Night, okay? Yeah, I'm not a, not a big Elton John fan, but I'm totally okay with the records because I know if my, if I, you know, it, this is an auction lot. If I, it's not my style, it'll be somebody else's style. So I'm just looking for things that could potentially be sellable if I don't want them in my jukebox. Okay, here's our next stack. World of Oz with the Muffin Man. Backed with Peter's Birthday, Black and Rose. Okay, Pick It Up by the Knack. We already saw this. Short version, long version. So there's two copies of that. Ooh, somebody's going to want that. Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. Backed with White Room. Those are both very, very substantially famous songs. Cool. Let's see. Look Through Any Window by The Hollies. And Bus Stop. I, Bus Stop by The Hollies. Is that the Umbrella song? I think it might be. Dreamboat Annie. Heart the Artist? I believe so. They decided to use a script. And Crazy on You by Heart. Yep, we know who that is. All right. Just the Wine and Heartless by Heart. Okay, what do we have here? Another one straight on and. What does that say? Barracuda. Yeah, we know that one. Kind of a fun drum riff and guitar riff, but the classic rock stations have driven that one into the ground. Doobie Brothers, The Evil Woman, and China Grove or Groove? China Grove, okay. You're Running Wild by the Nightcrawlers. And Little Black Egg. Oh, Little Black Egg, I believe... 
that was a 60s record. I think I'm, I didn't know the artist, but I do know the record. You Make Me Feel Good by the Buckinghams and Kind of a Drag. We know Kind of a Drag, everybody knows that. So, okay, David Bowie, B2 Schneider, backed with Heldon. Nah, nah, obviously, I know who the artist is. Oh, cool, Adventures record, Out of Limits. That would certainly, yeah, we know that one. And Telstar, oh, cool. I actually have in the jukebox already, I have the original Telstar by the Tornadoes, the Joe Meek record. That's neat. All right, cool. Oh, hello, person. Uh, no, our our jukebox uh, plays all of its records. It takes standard issue 45s. It's a Seberg. You can actually see it in previous videos. It is a Seberg um, uh, AY100. It does spin the records both directions, but it spins them one way to play the A side and one way to play the B side. And the styluses are flipped kind of in an, in an interesting way. So one way it's pushing on the tone arm and one way it's pulling on the tone arm. But uh, it takes a standard uh, 45. I am not aware of records that were actually cut backwards. Let's see. Terry Knight and the Pack. Love, love, love. And This Precious Time. That one don't know. Janis Joplin, Bobby McGee. Boy, have we not heard this one 400,000 times. And Half Moon. The hippies have run that song into the ground. Open My Eyes by Naz. And Hello, It's Me. Oh, The Who. Someone's Coming. Backed with Magic Bus. Okay, there we go. Magic Bus is something. Touch Me, that's going to be The Doors. We know that one. What's the B-side on that one? Wild Child. That one I'm not ace on. These are actually some very... This is a way better record lot than I would have ever imagined. I was expecting a thrift store lot, but no. Let's see, school day, Chuck Berry. There you go. And deep feeling. I don't know that one, but school day was like he resold. I uh, basically recycled. No particular place to go. Just recycled it, changed the lyrics, and sold another song. And Chuck Berry had a habit of doing that. I don't hate the guy, but I just find that amusing. Let's see, ACDC, too much, too much. And that's a radio copy. I don't know that song. I know, obviously, I know who ACDC is, and I've heard some of their other songs, but that one doesn't, you know, immediately resonate. No Murado, Keith Colley, and No Joke. Okay. Bad, bad Company, Crazy Circles, and Rock and Roll Fantasy. Oh, boy. The rock and Roll Fantasy by Bad Company. That's, that's a jukebox burnout. Let's call it a day girl by the razor's edge and Avril. Okay. Peppermint rainbow. That sounds like a hippie record. If I've ever heard one, will you be staying after Sunday backed with, and I'll be there. Sweet brandy, crazy paving. And anytime sunshine. See, me in the township, strawberry alarm clock. Okay, so strawberry alarm clock. When I flip this over, it's probably going to be incense and peppermints, or it's going to be some song I've never heard of. Uh, oh, it's good morning, starshine. On okay, so yeah, strawberry alarm clock is kind of like a one hit wonder, I believe. Maybe not, you know, maybe I'm just not educated on hippie music. Yeah, the only the only hippie music I think I really like is uh, Hamvoy Duke's Journey to the Center of the Mind. Let's see, goodbye, so long, Honolulu, Robin Hood brains, web of love. Mm, don't know that one. Robin Hood brains. Have to look that up. The critters. It just won't be that way. 
and Mr. Dingley said, I guess that's how you pronounce that. Mr. Dyingly? Mr. Dyingly said. Okay. Raven feeling good. And Raven Green Mountain Dream. Okay. Getting into the more obscure stuff now. Rest Cure, Crazy World of Arthur Brown. And Fire. Fire. Is that the... Is that that I am the god of hellfire and I bring you? Is that is that that? Maybe it is. I don't know. Eric, these were usually repops. So these, these, this is a repop record company. I know I have a surf and bird. So usually they do like two different artists on two different sides. So Only the Lonely, Roy Orbison, we know that one, and Dream Baby, How Long Must I Dream? So obviously Roy Orbison was not a one-hit wonder, so they were able to press both of his songs on there. Um, the one I have is Surf and Bird and Liar Liar by the Castaways. Everybody knows Surf and Bird by the Trash Man. Um, the Guess Who Star Baby and Music Yon. Music Yoni? Okay. Don't know that song. Fever by the McCoys. That's Rick Derringer's group. And then the B side for that's probably Hang on Sloopy. No, it's not. Okay, this was their follow-up record then, because Hang On Sloopy, my, one of my family members had that one. And the McCoys, of course, were Rick Derringer's group, who Rick went on to be a great record producer. And his most famous song that you probably may or may not know is Real American, used by Hulk Hogan brother in the WWF. Sunshine Company... Blue May and Happy. Don't know that one. Not another Who record. We're going to take it and I'm free. These are two songs I don't know. Obviously, I know the artist. Guess you can't get those from a Greatest Hits record. That's okay. Rock and Roll Goodbye, Chris Greer. Oh, cool. This is actually a local gem. Axe Records made in Cleveland. This is probably a radio promo. Rock City, USA. Hmm. Something tells me that, I don't know. Let's see. Sundown by Bad Woman. Ampex, that's the tape making company. And Bad Woman by Sundown. Is that the same song? Yeah, same song, both sides. Stereo and mono. That's a record label record, or a radio record. Let's see, Chambers Brothers, When the Evening Comes, and New Generation. You Really Got Me by The Kinks. That's uh, something that everybody and their brother knows. This is a reprise, so I'm thinking this is a repop probably made sometime in the 70s, and It's All Right. That one I don't know, but obviously you really got me. We know that, so that's cool. Gabriel Kaplan, Up Your Nose. Is this that novelty song, Up Your Nose with a Rubber Hose and Twice as Far with a Chocolate Bar or something like that? I swear. Maybe it is. Maybe. I, I don't know. This will be interesting because what's what's funny is despite the fact that I'm a punk rock music fan, I know a lot of older country because of my dad. That was his thing. Let's see. Let's get back to this. Set Me Free. It's another Kinks record. And I Need You. Teeny Bopper song by Keith. This sounds like a novelty record. In 98.6 by Keith. I don't know. Who's Keith? I'll bet if we actually look these songs up, we can find them. Boy, that's that poor thing is... That sleeve has seen better days, hasn't it? Such a shame by the kinks and well-respected man. Okay... Ape Man by the Kinks and Lola. There you go. There's another one everybody and their brother knows. Is it too politically incorrect these days to play this song? 
I almost just want to put it in the jukebox because it's politically incorrect. Oh, there's a KISS record, Nothing to Lose, and Shout It Out Loud. That's cool. That's probably been played to death in jukeboxes. Terry Knight and the Pack. I Who Have Nothing and Numbers. Mm, don't know that one. Let's see. Songbird by John Kurtz. And One Tin Soldier. Oh, One Tin Soldier? I think that song rings a bell. I think that's like a, wasn't that a protest song or something? I, I think so. Oh, Green Onions by Billy Justice. Well, Green Onions was Booker T and the MGs, wasn't it? And Alley Cat. So this is all the smash hits. Smash records. Don't check. Something tells me this might be one of those companies that makes um, imitation records with their hit factory. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm nuts. I don't know. Well, we all know I'm nuts, but. Lonely, or let's see, Lonely Children by Foreigner and Double Vision. We all know Double Vision. That one's another one that's been played to, till it hurts. It seems to me by the gestures and run, run, run. Okay. Till We Kissed by Guess Who and Shaken All Over. There we go. When I saw the Guess Who, Guess Who, that was the record I was actually thinking that would be cool to have. This is actually pretty, pretty cool. I like that song. All right. Long Dark Road by the Hollies. Okay, what's on the B side? Maybe Long Cool Woman? Maybe, oh, there it is. Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress. I actually like this song a lot, so that's cool. See, it's not all obnoxious, inappropriate songs that I do like. I do like some other stuff, but, you know. I favor the absurd. And we actually have a record cleaning machine that we can, you know, make these really pretty before we stick them in the juke. Show Know a Lot About Love by the Hollywood Argyles. Oh, the Hollywood Argyles, they did that Alley Oop song. Yep, there it is. That's a novelty record. That's actually funny. That's like a Dr. Demento kind of record. That's cool. They have the seven inch of that. Good old rock and roll cat mother and then all night newsboys and little Honda by the Hondells. Little Honda. That's I know that song. I didn't know that it was that was the artist, but that's that. Um, well, duh, it's about a little motor scooter, but that's that sort of surf rock song. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's actually the. The song. See the Guess Who, Lightfoot, and These Eyes. Let's see what do we have here? We have Radio Food and Clap for the Wolfman by the Guess Who. Okay. No Sugar Tonight. An American Woman by the Guess Who. Guess Who? Guess Who? What am I talking about? The Routers with Mashy and Let's Go. Mm. Is that that 60s sort of dance song that has one lyric of let's go? Dan, and, 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 let's go, Dan. Maybe, could be. Um, I'm guessing. Trash 2 by Roxy Music and Dance Away. Cool. I know who the artist is. The song's not uh, I Know You, Dave Clark 5, and Glad All Over. Oh, yeah, I know that song. I think everybody knows that song. You ever turn on an oldie station, you know that song. This is neat. This is actually a great box. I'm liking this. Let's see. One More Rainy Day by Deep Purple and Hush by Deep Purple. Okay. Obviously, everybody's expecting Smoke on the Water when it's Deep Purple, right? Because that's the one that everybody has played to death. Free Advice by the Mamas and Papas and backed with Dedicated to the One I Love. Did we see that one earlier? Did I get two copies of that one? Maybe. Did you ever want to cry? Backed with Creek Alley? 
C R E E Q U E. I don't know. The marmalade rolling my thing and reflections of my life. Sha La La by Manfred Mann. And John Hardy by Manfred Mann. I the name Manfred Mann is I, I, jukebox records. Here's a jukebox tag. This is Sha La La and John Hardy, but that's, so that's the same record twice. These were jukebox records. What does somebody say on that? I think they wrote their name, Denny. Okay, Denny, I got your record. And this is uh something. Oh boy, Manfred Mann record. Somebody likes those. See, as soon as I saw the wear on there, I'm like, that's got to be a jukebox record. What you're going to do, backed with... Yeah, do wa diddy. That was Manfred Mann. That's the one I know. I'm not a big fan of that song, but I that's, that's why I knew the name. Travel in the Jeremy Spencer Band. And again, a stereo mono record, or a uh, radio record. Can't Get Next to You by Mongo Santa Maria. I'm feeling all right on the other side. <clears throat> I think of Mongo anything. I think of Mongo Jerry, which I think is a different artist. Gotcha. The theme from Starsky and Hutch. Okay. Demo record, not for sale. So that was probably a radio record. The Minotaur by Dick Hyman and his Electric Eclectics. Boy. And Topless Dancers of Corfu. Disc jockey, jockey copy. They would actually send this and expect it to be played on the radio. Quite frankly, by the artist name and the song name, I don't think anybody would ever play that on the radio. <laughs> Which means we should probably listen to it and see what's on there. All right. Kama Sutra record. Summer in the City of the Love and Spoonful. We know who that is. And Butchie's Tune. I don't know that one, but I do know the A side anyway. She's Still a Mystery. And Only Pretty, What a Pity. Okay. Another Love and Spoonful. Night Owl Blues and Daydream. Is that what a day for a daydream? Something maybe? Um, Carmichael Enterprises, 39 cents. 39 cents for a record. That's for a reprise. I wonder how old that label is. A Little River Band, Changed and Different. Backed with happy anniversary. You know what? This tag for this record was scribbled on. Somebody flipped it over and wrote on it. But this record was actually in my jukebox before I got it. Somebody took it out. Loggins and Messina, my music. And thinking of you. That's Kenny Loggins, isn't it? I think so. Lips Ink, All Night Dancing, and Funky Town. That's a disco record. Why is that in the rock section? That's a disco record. All right. Lips Ink again with Power and Rocket. Probably two more disco records. Flashback records. These are repops. I, I've had a few repops from these guys. Every Lonely Day by Edison Lighthouse and Love Grows Love Goes Where or Grows Where My Rosemary Goes. Yeah, we know that song. I don't understand why they redid that one. And Lighthouse, Bright Side, and Pretty Lady. Okay, well this stack is getting a little bit too hefty, so I need to get those back in the box and get some new ones out of the Oh, 
Oh, I see a green record. That's cool. And there's some other ones that have the uh, sort of uh, the plastic sleeve that they put over the paper sleeve. So those usually indicate that they're special records, like possibly valuable. That's what they did with the cream records that we had before. So my job was not to uh, be rude to any artist if I didn't recognize your music and you're like, oh my goodness, there's my old record and you have no idea who I am. Sorry. But who am I fooling? Nobody famous watches this channel. Well, maybe Uncle Doug. He's kind of famous, right? Kind of. At least if you fix amps. He watches sometimes. And I've actually... What's weird is I had... Like one time I fixed an amp that belonged to some band who sprayed their name on the amp. So I nicknamed the amp that. And lo and behold, somebody who was in that band did come find it. Which was kind of cool. You can see all the dirt and dust that was kind of in these. They've been backed up for a while. Okay, next stack. Telephone line and Poor Boy by the Electric Light Orchestra. And that's a green record. Cool. I almost, I'm going to put that right back in the box. I don't want to put it at the bottom of the stack and put a bunch of weight on it. And this is the same record, but in black. And my cell phone just went off, so I better go see who wants to talk to me. Stand by. Oh, humorously enough, it's a friend of mine who's apparently watching our live stream. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that jukebox actually sounds wicked good. I'm, I'm still trying to maybe get a little bit of the mechanical rumble because the records themselves, because it, it clamps them in the middle and holds them sideways like that, sometimes a little bit of the vibration will travel out. And a thinner record works better than a thicker record, but you can hear a little bit of rumble before the song plays and after it finishes because of the compression circuit in it. Okay, so we got more ELO. We've got Do Ya and Night Rider. Someone Saved My Life Tonight by Fan Captain Fantastic and House of Cards. Oh, Elton John, Captain Fantastic. These are Elton John records. Okay. Sheesh. Until I'm not an Elton John fan, but that's okay. The Elton John band Philadelphia Freedom and... I saw her standing there featuring John Lennon. That would just be interesting for the for the listen, because I don't recall that I've heard that recording. And obviously, we all know the Beatles song. Um, there were some Beatles and Elvis records, but I'm pretty sure they took those out and stuck them in a separate auction lot. And I wasn't going to go crazy over that. Elton John and who's that? Kiki D. Don't. Don't Go Breaking My Heart. I believe I know that one. And Snow Queen. Let's see. Top Line Promises. Eric Clapton. That's going to be... Oh, and Cocaine. There we go. That's one everybody knows. That's neat. Okay. Little Wing. Eric Clapton. Backed with Bell Bottom Blues. New England. Hello, hello, hello. And this is, again, one of those promo copies, not for sale, radio records. Uh, they're both stereo. Infinity Records, promotional copy, not for sale. Okay. I don't know much about that artist. 
Doesn't mean it's bad, it just means I don't know. Tulsa Time, Eric Clapton, and Cocaine. So I have two different pressings of this because the other one was, was the other one a different label? I think it was. Or are they both RSOs? No, one was top line RSO. This might be the older pressing. <coughs> Quiet Man by John Prine. Oh, John Prine's a well-known songwriter. Okay, and that looks like, again, a stereo mono promo copy. I, this one, again, tear out in the middle on the label. That says Seaberg Jukebox to me. Little River Band, Lonesome Root Loser, and Shut Down, Turn Off. And Little River Band, Middleman, and Cool Change. Let's see, Little River Band help is on its way. And one in the inner light. Somebody must have been a big fan. Little River Band reminiscing. And so many paths. A Cimarron like children and rings. That one, do I know that one? I shot the sheriff, Eric Clapton. We know that one. And give me strength. Stone Gates, Bachman Turner Overdrive, and taking care of business. That, is that Taking care of business is that that's probably the one we know from the classic rock song, maybe kind of a one hit wonder ish. Yeah, I think I think that's the right song. I think I got that one pegged. Oh, wonderful tonight, Eric Clapton. Boy, if you're a Clapton fan, this is a good box for you. And that's actually this is a promo copy, so that's a radio copy one side stereo, one mono. Interesting, okay. Crocodile Rock, Elton John. Somebody liked Elton John, too, and Elderberry Wine. And more Elton John. We got a lot of him here. Tiny Dancer, Razor Face. Okay. This could be the Elton John jukebox, if that's your thing. Daniel and Skyline Pigeon. Don't know those songs, but okay. More Elton John. Island Girl and Sugar on the Floor. Don't know those songs either. Sweetwater, Join the Band, Part 1 and 2. Oh, here's something cool. Aerosmith, Chip Away the Stone, and Studio and Live Versions. Demo record, so it's a radio record. And a lot of these are radio records. That's pretty cool. Kenny Young, Shake the City, and Rosales. Is that another promo record? Could be. No, probably. Maybe, maybe not. Some of these, like, this is what I would expect a Warner Brothers label to, record to look like, the color label. So when I see the white one, I think it's a promo. Um, you and Me, Alice Cooper. Back with It's Hot Tonight. Do What You Like, Foreigner, and, boy, they printed that funny, Head Games. Yeah, we know what that song is. They printed it in a different font. I guess that's just so you really know that's the A-side. Hair of the Dog by Nazareth. They put this in, like, a really important folder there. And Love Hurts. I believe that's the one from the 70s that we know every time... Somebody on a sitcom gets their heart broken, they play that, and everybody laughs. That's kind of wrong, isn't it? Pink Floyd. One of my turn. And another brick in the wall by Pink Floyd. There you go. That's definitely a popular record. It's been a little played in my opinion, but that's just, you know, that's just me complaining. 
see. Robert Palmer, Love Can Run Faster. And Bad Case of Loving You. Doctor, Doctor. Doctor, Doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. See, some of these artists I don't even know, but, you know, you have enough vintage radio running, you hear this stuff. Steve Miller, Love and Cup, and the B-side is Fly Like an Eagle. Yeah, we know that one. Thank you, Mail. Thank you, U.S. Mail, for driving that one into the ground with your commercial. <sighs> Let's see. Lady Willpower by Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. Back with Over You. That one's not ticking with me. Up oh, Queen. The show must go on, and the Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh my goodness, this has been played excessively. Thank you, Wayne's World. Let's see what do we have here? We are the champions, Queen, and we will rock you. Sporting events have killed that song. You're my best friend, Queen, and 39. I don't know 39. Maybe I do, but I don't. I don't know. Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed. Oh. Are they allowed to play that song anymore on the radio? Because of the way that he refers to the background singers? And the <clears throat> insert name here that you're not allowed to use, otherwise you'll get banned off of YouTube saying do to do to do to do to. Yeah. Perfect day. That's cool. We're getting into some pretty neat records. I mean, even if I'm not a even if these aren't gonna go in the jukebox, they're going to uh, a good chunk of these I'll probably hang on to. Doobie Brothers for someone special backed with Taking it to the streets. That one I don't know for sure. Hmm. Sweet feeling and minute by minute, Doobie Brothers. I believe minute by minute's the one that we all know, right? Um, they don't know you. The Riders of the Purple Sage. And yeah, that's a uh, that's a radio record stereo version. Mono version, yeah. Writers of the Purple Sage. I don't know if I know them. Fooled Around and Fell in Love by Elvin Bishop. And Having a Good Time. Okay. Electric Light Orchestra, pol Poker, and Confusion. And then we have Don't Bring Me Down. And shine a little love. I think Don't Bring Me Down, everybody knows, because of disco records. Again, some of these are like disco. How did they sneak into this? Magic Mountain, Eric Burden and War, and Spill the Wine. Magic Mountain, Eric Burden and War, so a different pressing. And spill the wine. Same record, different pressings. Great Gates of Kiev, Everson, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and Nut Rocker. There's, I don't know, if, I don't know if it was them, but there's, there is a song by that title, which is actually like a, I don't know, like a happy boogie woogie version of the Nutcracker theme that shows up once in a while. Let's see, Man from Houston, Mark Lindsay, and Arizona. So, Let's Be More Than Friends by Gary Lewis and the Playboys. We're going back in time for that one. And Girls in Love. Doing the Flake and This Diamond Ring. Little Miss Gogo. So is this a is this is a double track on this side? Yeah. Well, there's two songs on this side. 
Those are a little less common. This is a reprint. My Heart's Symphony, Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Boy, you got enough masking tape on that sleeve? And the, this diamond ring, so that's a reprint of one of the records that we saw earlier. Let's see. Gordon Lightfoot, Rainy Day People and Cherokee Bend. I'm pretty sure they couldn't put Edmund Fitzgerald on a 45. It just wouldn't fit. Uh, Gary Lewis and the Playboys, Girls in Love, and Let's Be More Than Friends. So I got multiples of that one. And what do we have here? This is Ice Melts in the Sun and The Loser. Again, Gary Lewis. No. Here's a key cloud checker for sure. Up oh, and there goes my phone. I suppose we'll have to mute. Oh, good. I got a scam call. Let's talk to our scam artist. They're going to talk to us? No. Oh, no. I'm sure. Apparently, they don't want to talk to me. Oh, there we go. This is Daniel, huh? Is it? <laughs> they, they, they don't like me questioning when they tell me what their name is, apparently. Okay. So, you don't have to paint me a picture. Another Gary Lewis and the Playboys, but the label's missing on this side. But there's a jukebox label in there. Let's see. What was the B side? Uh, can, I, can I meet the stars? Okay. Somebody must have been a Gary Lewis fan. There's a lot of those in here. Oh, here's the same record, actually, looking for the stars. And uh, you don't have to paint me a picture, so there's that one. More Gary Lewis, Tina, and My Heart's Symphony. More Gary Lewis, you're going to miss her. And I don't want to say goodnight. And more Gary Lewis. I think this person, they really like him. Well, again, a jukebox record. This has got a label missing. Can't tell what the B side is. But the A side is, I can read between the lines. Count me in. And Little Miss Go-Go. Good grief, this is like the Gary Lewis box, man. Without a word of warning, save your heart for me. Uh, same record again. Same record again. So we got three copies of that one. And boy, some of these labels have taken abuse. These were definitely jukebox records. Let's see, I won't make that mistake again, and she's just my style. There's actually uh, a Gary Lewis and the Playboy song that I know well and actually think is kind of cool. That's good. Cincinnati and Me by Larry Kinley and Rudis Rock by the All Rudis Band. So this is 77 copyright date and it's like there's so this is actually from the Cincinnati era area because it's got a OCA QCA records in Cincinnati so this might be local hmm. actually Cincinnati is about four hours away I'm up in the Cleveland area uh, ELO strange magic and new world rising evil woman 
10538 Overture. I think I've heard that one before. Ten CC hot to trot, and the things we do for love. Chanel swimmer, ten CC, and I'm not in love. Up, oh, and now we got some more of these records with art on the sleeve. Three Dog Night, the, my old-fashioned love song. Yeah, we know that one backed with jam, okay, and more Three Dog Night, Pieces of April, and The Writings on the Wall, One by Three Dog Night, Try a Little Tenderness, Joy to the World, that's the one everybody and their brother knows, and I can hear you calling, Shambhala, and our B-side, I guess if you don't know what to call it, this show must go on, Three Dog Night, and on the way back home. See, we got more Three Dog Night, Freedom for the Stallion, in black and white. The Raspberries go all the way, and With You in My Life, I, that was a Cleveland area band. Walk on the Wild Side, Lou Reed, we got another copy of that one. Midnight Rider by Joe Cocker, and Woman to Woman. New York Connection by The Sweet, and Wig Wham Bam by The Sweet, okay. Blue in the Morning by The Hollies, and Magic Woman Touch, okay. Alice Cooper. Uh, yeah, if I read that title, I'm probably going to get a, uh, yeah, that. You can just read that one for yourself. And back with No More Mr. Nice Guy, so we know that song. Cisco Kid. Who's the artist on that? By War. Yeah, we know that one. Cisco Kid was a friend of mine. And Beatles in the Bog. Okay. David Bowie with Right and Fame. Eric Clapton with Promises and Watch Out for Lucy. And another Elton John record, Young Man's Blues and Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. So that is two out of the four boxes of records. And... That's half of our stash. There's still plenty more to go through. And I don't know that I really want to do that right now. But we'll do that a little bit later tonight. So I'll get a chance to look through that. If any of these records really, really... Get your get your mojo working. And uh, you would like to um, purchase them and support the channel. Good for you. Um, if not, that's okay too. Whatever works. But... Um, We'll go through, we got two more boxes. We have one that's uh, 80s music. And we have another one that has got some country in it. So that should be cool. I actually know there's one, there's a couple of country records I actually want for sure. Which and everybody who knows me is going, what the heck? But anyway, so we're going to conclude for now. And I will come back a little bit later tonight. Um, oh, I don't know what it's for now. I'll probably take a one or two hour break. So... Um, you know, if you want to watch me go through more records, that's great, but I am going to leave because usually I pull these down when I'm done with them because I'm just fussing with electronics and there's a lot of nothing going on. We'll leave this one up and we'll see you in a few hours.